result of COVID-19, everyone has had to adjust to doing things differently. Your library is no exception. From digital activities to quarantining items, offering remote services, and more online resources, we are still here for you and want to help you reconnect. Hello, I'm Rebecca Krogman. And I'm Demolati Hashtrop. Welcome to Beyond the Book. Remember the good times when you could visit the library to attend an activity? Now you can reconnect with the library and create new memories from the safety and comfort of your home. Digital activities are now offered live and on demand. Visit www.pbclibrary.org and click on Digital Activities to view all of our free events. From story times to technology trainings, arts and crafts, and cooking demonstrations, there's something for all ages. Sign up for our e-newsletter to receive a listing of all digital activities delivered straight to your inbox. The event calendars are sent twice a month on the 1st and 15th. Register at www.pbclibrary.org slash newsletter dash sign up. The bookmobile got a makeover while off the road. It has returned with a limited number of stops. To find out where the bookmobile will travel to next, go to our website and click on Locations and scroll down to the bookmobile where you can see all the stops on the bookmobile's route. busy month at the library, and this year is no exception. We have DeweyCon 2.0, Hispanic Heritage Month, and pop-up media labs. DeweyCon 2.0 takes place from September 5th to the 12th. Let's hear from Christina Stone, who is coordinating the library's second annual comic convention, DeweyCon 2.0. Hi, I'm Christina Stone. I'm a librarian here at the Main Library, and we are happy to announce that we are hosting our second DeweyCon this year. It will be all online this year, virtual activities that will be hosted across all of our branches will take place. You can register at our website at the dedicated DeweyCon link on our virtual activities page. This year we have a huge lineup of activities that will please everyone in the family, um, young to old. 
This year, we're happy to host our very first graphic novel book club. It'll be hosted by Paul Flores from the Lantana branch. It will be on the title, The Runaways. Last year when we had our in-person Dewey Con, we had over a weekend almost a thousand members in the library enjoying food trucks and uh, face painting, all sorts of activities. Um, hopefully next year we can get back to that one-on-one -on -one experience. Even though we will have some cosplay round table activities taking place virtually, hopefully next year we'll all be able to get into costume and visit the library once again. And we will hope to see you then. This year, all events will be virtual. Visit our website, pbclibrary.org, to see the complete listing of activities. Next up is Hispanic Heritage Month, which takes place from September 15th through October 15th. This year, we'll be hosting international presenters, as well as musical performances, cooking demonstrations, and much more. Adam Davis, Director of System Services, is with us to tell us about the exciting events in store for us. My name is Adam Davis. I'm the Director of System Services at the Palm Beach County Library System. This year's Hispanic Heritage Month is going to be different because we're going to be doing the entire Hispanic Heritage Month online. As in Hispanic Heritage Month in years past, we're going to be enjoying literature, music, dance, crafts, and fun and education for the entire family. One of the great things about doing online activities is that we can reach people literally across the world. We have a Mexican author who's going to be speaking from Mexico about her book. Um, you can reserve her book uh, through Cloud Library or in any of our branches. We've got a dance troupe from Ecuador that's going to be performing for us. And we've also got a photographer from Guatemala who's going to be talking about his art. I'm really excited about a few things this year. Uh, first of all, that we're able to connect with artists from other countries is really fascinating. We also have a storyteller named Carolina who's going to be presenting via our website and social media to kids and families across the county. We also have food demonstrations, platanos and mole guatemaltecos, or Guatemalan plantains and mole sauce. I love plantains and I love mole, so I'm looking forward to that demonstration. One of the great things about living in Palm Beach County is that we have so many communities coming from all over the United States and all over the world. Hispanic Heritage Month is one of our oldest heritage months that we celebrate in the Palm Beach County Library System, and I'm really proud that we can celebrate people's heritages, cultures, and customs throughout the year. I'm really excited this year for Hispanic Heritage Month that we're going to be able to reconnect with the community and provide top-notch, high-quality activities for the entire family. received a grant 
from the State Library of Florida to purchase 13 pop-up media labs. Kat Ng, the library's technology trainer coordinator, is here to tell us about the labs. My name is Kat Ng, and I'm the Electronic Resources Training Coordinator here at Palm Beach County Library. Um, well, last year, the Palm Beach County Library System applied for and was awarded a grant uh, through the Library Services and Technology Act um, through the State uh, Library Division of Library and Information Services. And this grant allowed us to fund um, 13 pop-up media labs at our branches. So the pop-up media labs at the branches include equipment for podcasting, like the Yeti microphone, iPads and MacBooks um, for content creation and recording, including the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, um, a high-speed scanner for digital archiving, um, and a virtual reality headset, the Oculus Quest. Uh, well, branches have been really creative, and we have currently have virtual classes for um, how to use green screen to create movies and cards and pictures, um, fantasy art uh, with Adobe, uh, with the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. Uh, we've had um, some Harry Potter wand magic classes using the green screen, and we have some Apple pencils coming so we can do some uh, how to draw. With, since we've started the creation station here at Maine, we've had a lot of people coming in, um, able to create their own music, uh, their own songs, their own videos. Some people have even um, been able to start their own businesses um, using our equipment and now we can bring that out to all the branches throughout the county. Well after COVID, um, w which was our original plan, was to have these, um, as their name suggests, pop up at the branches and everything will be hands-on. Uh, originally we were supposed to offer open these up to the public and you would be able to come in and use the MacBooks, use the iPads, use our green screens and our scanners um, to do projects, creative projects. Hopefully we will be offering in-person pop-up media labs classes very soon. Uh, what we miss most now that we're in COVID about the library is really getting to come and hang out, you know, play, sit, use the computers or the toys that are out, the puzzles, the games. We really like to do that and kind of just hang for a while, so we miss being able to do that. Um, I think, you know, it really lets them explore different types of books, just seeing what sometimes like a librarian suggests or even what's out on the shelves, you never would think to grab it yourself. So I think that coming to the library really kind of expands um, maybe the topics you would read about, the types of books you would read about. Um, and I, I think it's just good for kids to be comfortable around books and kind of get a chance to be with other people and, um, you know, try new things. What I enjoy most about visiting the library, I love reading myself, so I love getting books for myself, but I think more for the kids, just think it's a really wholesome, fun place um, to get away from screens and to, um, you know, spend some time thinking outside of the box, thinking about new things. So um, I am preparing the kids to go back to school. Um, we're preparing for virtual learning. We're at a public school, so, you know, we've got some a little workstation at home. We're trying to print their schedules, get some supplies. We bought our supplies uh, a couple days ago, and so it's going to be difficult. Uh, both me and my husband work, but we are trying our best to kind of set a schedule for them and um, get them excited about learning in, you know, a not ideal situation. Um, well, I just love finding new books, and the librarians always have like great recommendations for you, especially since I'm pretty stubborn with like finding a good book to read. So yeah, um, currently the Hunger Games series. I think the second one, but yeah. Um, well, I guess I just, yeah, like I said, I just miss getting to have to have all the new books and like I've just been rereading the same books that I have at my house because like I can't always come and buy new ones. 
or check them out, I guess. Well, they literally have like every book, like everything that my friends will tell me to read or my t I have to read for a school project. They'll have anything, and the librarians are always so nice and are ready to like give you a new book to read or like help you out. Um, yeah, before COVID, I came to the library for programs every once in a while. Because of school, it was hard to, but we tried to as much as we could. Well, I'm looking forward to just get back into sort of a routine. And I guess even though we're not seeing my friends like online, like I can still like do projects with them or things like that. So I guess I'm looking forward to that. September is also library card sign up month. Visit your nearest branch to sign up for a library card. It's easy. You can fill out the application online and go to a branch and pick up a card. You can also call your local branch to schedule a virtual appointment. You will need an ID and proof of address. Parents or a guardian can also get a free library card for each child. Every child under the age of 18 who lives in Palm Beach County can get a free card. germs and germs are microscopic organisms that can make you sick so today we're gonna talk all about how to keep germs away by washing your hands and guess what when should we wash our hands we should wash our hands after we play with our pets of course, when we go to the bathroom, before and after we eat. And of course, when we call for sneeze. Hey, chew! Uh-oh, I have to wash my hands. And the recommended time for washing our hands is 20 seconds. So, we have to get soaked and warm water. And we can sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, S is for soap and scrub, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I sing my ABC. Next time, wash your hands with me. All clean. Returned materials will be quarantined for 72 hours. Members are asked to return items through the book drop or automated returns, and to place items removed from the shelves on book carts for quarantine. After three days, staff will process returns and remove items from the member's account. Any fees accrued will be removed once the items have been processed. For more information, please visit www.pbclibrary.org. Hello, friends! Now that we're superheroes, we have to keep everyone safe and ourselves safe by wearing a mask. And the proper way to wear a mask is to make sure the mask is covering your nose, your mouth, and your chin. So, 
If you're happy and you know it, wear a mask. If you're happy and you know it, wear a mask. If you're happy and you know it, then your eyes will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wear a mask. And stay safe. Magazines and newspapers have also been removed from our shelves to minimize the spread of germs. But you can still access our magazines using Flipster. Read up on entertainment news, business and finance, fitness and health, home and gardening, and much more. Visit www.pbclibrary.org forward slash magazines. Also, to ensure the safety of our members, we have expanded Wi-Fi service throughout our parking lots. You can access the internet from the safety of your own vehicle. We are also offering remote printing. You can now print from your PC, laptop, iPad, and smartphone. You can submit documents to print from wherever you are with an internet connection. Download the Print On Demand app from the Apple or the Google Play stores. Then select your closest branch to pick up your documents. 20 cents per black and white pages, and 30 cents for color, cash only. My name is Mary Kendall. I am the chair of the Palm Beach County Library Board. I was raised in Belle Glade, Florida, in Western Palm Beach County. My father moved us from Alabama to Belle Glade because back in Alabama he was a sharecropper and he wanted to do better by the family so that he could earn money and get us educated in a way that was pleasing to him so that we wouldn't grow up being sharecroppers. No, I did not visit the Belle Glade Library when I was a child because it was segregated and people of color were not allowed to go to the public library in Belle Glade. I really wanted to go to the public library in Belle Glade as a child because I've always been fascinated by books. The first time I was able to go into a library was probably when I got 21 or 22 years old. There were lots and lots of books when I first went into the Belgrade Library. It was really great seeing all of them. I think it's very important for us to teach children what it used to be like so that they can appreciate what it's like now.
Emma and I am a student shelver for almost a year now. I love working at this library. It's great seeing kids' faces when I hand them the book that they want. And it's been a very great experience. I think that's what helped me pick my major in becoming a master librarian. I think I miss most having a bunch of kids bouncing around and playing on the computers, playing like little games around. The and I also miss the tutors. They were really friendly and they always had great recommendations with books. Uh, I tend to go for the fantasy and for the um, fiction. Um, I tend to love uh, Greek mythology, so I definitely recommend the Percy Jackson series. Um, but I loved the Harry Potter series, I loved the Lunar series, which is in our teen section, and I loved the Hunger Games. So those were mostly where I go for books. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for wearing, Thank you for wearing your mask. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For practicing social distancing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For reconnecting with your library. Thank you for joining us. We hope you have been inspired to reconnect to your library and make sure to follow us on social media. To keep up with all the activities and services offered at the library, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Find out about upcoming events, new resources, and employment opportunities. Make sure to tag us in your posts to be featured on our sites. Use hashtag PBC library. From attending a book discussion to your favorite coloring club or crafting session, we know you'll find something to connect to your community, inspire thought, and enrich your life.